So we're on here today to talk about the rebranding of our, our women's team. We're changing the name to Wait for Trinity Women and we're bringing it in line and under control of the club where it, the past couple of years it's been under the control of the foundation. Just talk us through the decision behind that and the reasoning of the rebrand. Yeah, I think from, from my point of view coming in, you know, we've tried to sort out every age group in terms of at the club and, and make sure it's all aligned. Um, there's nothing worse at the club when everything's separate. Um, I know when the fans forum, I got asked, one of the current players asked me um, about assistance and our plans, and this was one. Um, you know, the club's vision is one one vision, one club. Um, so we're bringing it and aligning it with that. Um, we want the team to play under the, the new name um, of Wakefield Trinity Women uh, and play under the, the club's crest. Um, not have a different crest, play under the club's crest, same kit which we spoke about on our business launch. Uh, and that's a big thing for us, is making sure everything's aligned together um, and we can really hit the ground running in terms of the women's team. And it not just be, uh, you know, we, we're not going to go straight to the top, we know that. Uh, we've got to get our foundations right first and then slowly build up, surely over the coming years, to get to the point where our women's team needs to be and, and wants to be ultimately. You talk about building a women's team from the kind of ground up where we're at, where we're at now. Obviously, this is almost kind of like year zero. But with that, is he's coming a, a new role that's working with the club and, and the foundation. Just tell us a little bit more about that. Yeah, so we, we want to we're going to we want to bring a role in um, the women's and girls player pathway coordinator um, who works across the club and the foundation. Um, so they'll be the women's head coach of our current first team. Um, also work within with the foundation in schools, leading the women's programs. Um, so that might be the college program, in and around the high schools, um, 11 to 19, um, and creating a player pathway for our for our women's. Um, we feel like it's such a vital place um, for for the club to have. Um, if you look in the in the community, I was quite surprised, if I'm openly honest, around how strong the women's game is in our area. Um, so we just feel like we need to really get back in with them um, and create strong relationships with them and, and ultimately which will help our team. Um, you know, we're, we're not in the greatest form, which everyone knows. It's no, um, it's no secret around that. So we want to get this club at every level competing for stuff. Uh, and this is just another layer to that. Um, you know, everyone keeps seeing us signing first team players, etc. But we're putting a lot of work into our foundation. Um, our, our women's program, our youth program. So this is just part of the ongoing things in the background, really, and what we're all involved in. Um, and I think it's testament to the club, really, and Matt and Miley Craig and Luke Shaler from the foundation of coming together. We have regular meetings now around the women's game, um, and, and Alex Beale and how we can we can keep aligning that together and keep it moving forward. And this role is now just the next step of as part of that process. So it sounds like the club are really putting a lot of time and effort into pushing a lot of resources into this women's team and trying to make it so as you say that on all fronts we are kind of challenging for silverware and trying to be the best club across all fronts within the community as well what sort of the plans going forward in the sort of next 12 18 months and even longer term yeah so obviously first of all is to is to secure someone in this position um once we get this position secured They'll create pathways around uh, our systems that we've currently in place that Jason's done a great job of putting in place. We now grow within that. Um, and then from there, we will, we're, we're going to host a, a launch night here uh, where it'll just be open access to players, staff, anybody really wants to get involved and help um, and create a bit of a different feel around it. So that'll be at the stadium, which will be a great event for the night. Obviously, myself, Daryl, uh, Matt Ellis will, will attend. Um, and we'll probably say a few words, etc. And we just want it to make it feel like we're all together as one. Uh, and then following that, we'll have we'll have a couple of trial events uh, where it'll just be open access trials um, to help us choose for our next season's squad and, and give us the best chance um, of progressing. And not just the top squad, like you're saying, once we get this position filled, there'll be all different pathways that will lead to the to the top squad in terms of the women's. Um, but we just feel like this is a real positive step for the club and, and for the women and, and for the women's game in, in Wakefield. It's so important, so you know we're putting a lot of time and effort to get that as right as well as as much time as we are into the first team. So uh, yeah, real good, real crucial part. 